Hi everyone. <clears throat> Today we speak about uh, creativity. So, uh, what kind of foods can uh, create uh, um, can um, uh, inspire us to be more creative? So, I always say that again, it's about the intention we send out. So, it means that um, first of all, to um, imbue uh, our food with uh, the, the intention of uh, creativity. So this means as I, anything that I ingest, even if it is uh, water or a juice or, or some food I ingest, and then even just air, I just um, um, uh, in, send the intention out to, to bring me this, uh, this uh, uh, creativity that I wish for my art or for, or for my work. Um, so the intention is what matters and, uh, and then allow this energy to flow. It means that um, once uh, we, we, we send out the intention, then the intention is already it's a done thing. So we just have to allow it to express itself. And so this means that uh, uh, then we just uh, can be a little bit patient for this to come and allow through inspired action to move forward in creating something uh, or you can just jump on it and, and then see how this goes for example personally I'm, I like to create a lot of music uh, also recipes, raw vegan recipes so, so um, generally when I'm doing that I, I do it through inspired action it means that I'm really, I'm, I'm really having like a, a push from within me that, 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 that brings me to that I don't push it just by myself uh, because I have no pressure to do it uh, for for uh, for anything uh, for any reason. Uh, so it, for me, it works really really good this way. Uh, and then yet I can also understand that somebody that is uh, uh, for the work need to be creative on a daily basis. Well, this is just a a, a habit. Uh, for example, a writer uh, when they start to write, well, they have the habit every day to. To do it and then uh, the more one one does it the more this happens uh, uh, automatically so it's a it's a it's a process that uh, that the creativity is a process that it's also like an, a habit so the more we get creative the more we get creative the more we feel gratitude about being creative the more we are blessed with creativity and uh, another thing I want to mention about creativity again is, is about the food to ingest. So for example, if we choose to have like a diet uh, that is about uh, creativity, um, I will suggest to have as much as possible pure foods in the most uh, pure state. So it means that, uh, for example, uh, wherever you are in your journey, uh, choosing to have uh, pure organic, um, um, non-cooked uh, foods is in, in my perspective, through my perspective, much better than having cooked foods in the body because the pure form of a fruit, for example, of a banana or an apple, uh, it's better than just cooked because if you, if you eat cooked, anything cooked, then, then the body needs time to process it, to digest it, whereas when it comes directly from nature, it's, it's, it doesn't need so much time. You don't get tired of eating, after eating a raw vegan meal. You feel even more energized and that's the purpose of eating food, by the way. So, so to my sense, uh, uh, this is a very good way to go into to to think about creativity. Then we can also see into the different kind of teas. For example, we have many uh, different kind of teas. There is like an infinite, infinite abundance of, of of teas on the planet that you can choose from. Everybody is different. Everybody have their own preferences. This goes also for the foods, by the way. So this is why I'm not telling you to eat this specific food or that specific food because you only only you know what's best for you. Um, uh, well, at the same time, uh, for example, personally, when I'm making tea, I don't boil the water. I, I do it in, in a raw vegan way. I, I I heat the water till 46 degrees, and then I allow the uh, the tea to to stay within the the, the preparation I'm doing for at least uh, half an hour or more. And then I'm also using some, some the the the, um, the gong I showed you the other day that that I'm I'm playing some vibration on it so I'm, I'm and I'm I'm blessing it also with the intention of creativity so tea is very good tea is a powerful way 
Also, it helps for the ascension process because anything that is warm, not too warm, just warm, it's perfect for uh, for allowing the body to to go to, to smoothly with the energy. So, and also when you feel like there is a lot of uh, uh, changes happening within uh, warm water and tea is good. I will suggest uh, not to all these teas that contain caffeine, for example. It depends where you are in your journey. Again, uh, I don't want to put you put anyone in boxes. Uh, I just say that uh, from my personal experience, I drink teas that have no tein and no caffeine inside. Uh, just the aroma and just uh, the, 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 pure, the purity of it, just it's, it's enough. So I tend to go as much as possible close to, to the purity of the water. It's nothing, nothing better than the purity of water. So if you can have just pure water, it's, it's, it's also perfect. It, water is, is, is the best drink of, of all uh, to get in our bodies. And then blessing it with the intention of creativity and anything else you wish, it's around the same. So that closes uh, our uh, mini uh, um, uh, courses that we had uh, here about Ascension Diet. I hope that this uh, serves you in your Ascension process. And um, if you have some questions, I'm very curious uh, how this goes for you. If you have something to share, uh, I can also share on my website, uh, filmmodernfine.eu. So, Send me an email, uh, info at uh, filmonanfine.eu and uh, I will reply to you um, wherever you are in your journey. If you have more questions, uh, it's a personal journey. So enjoy the process in full appreciation of what is and uh, eagerness of what is coming. Namaste.